tunnel, um, getting a fit, metabolic test, and then get into the wind tunnel and do some testing and see what the fastest position is, test out some different helmets and wheels and just like all kinds of cool stuff to get as fast as possible on, the, on this new bike. I was here eight years ago was when I was sponsored by Specialized, getting tested in the tunnel on a road bike, so this is quite a lot different. Um, probably more gains to be made on a TT bike than a road bike, so um, really excited. And I'm actually seeing Aaron post the same fitter that fit my road bike back in the day, so full circle. I don't really know what the metabolic fit is. Like, I think it's trying to optimize position versus like your comfort when you're riding so we're not trying to just get as arrow as possible but also a position where you can like um, hold for an effective amount of time you know for the whole race so yeah it's not just arrow it's like also comfort so that's, that's it let's get started This is the option for tilt. I don't really know. I'm just trying to like see how it feels, not really change something. <laughs> Instead of overanalyzing it. And then she knows where her hands where she likes. Let's see how that goes. I still feel like if my arms are touching this completely, I can't quite get to them. <laughs> Unless I'm like this. I think the profile extension. The extension just got here, I'm going to run over and grab this. Okay, so we'll see what option. Can this angle in? Yes, uh, and the Wahoo package just got here also. Oh, cool. Oh, you want to think for Oh, dude. Okay, so let's try this, and then we're going to change things all over again. <laughs> <laughs> and then we've got all of these that are similar. I don't think the sync ones. The sync ones belong to a friend of mine, Matt on a bike shop, so we can't, we, you can't buy those. Well, I mean, everybody's got their price. That's true. look so bad. You tell me though, right? Like what what does the what does the pressure feel like on your forearms? Are you okay having your elbow just a little bit off the back of the pad? Which is typically something I try to achieve with my riders to give you that leverage point a little bit off of the pad mm -hmm. so that you have some articulation there as opposed to just resting your elbow directly on the pad. Yeah. But if we do that it still seems like you need a little bit more height yeah. out of the front end. It does, it does feel like there's almost all the pressure is like right here. I feel, I feel about it so far. Not good. We'll get there. I honestly don't know if it's possible with like what they have. Any noticeable difference? Um, pinched a lot. Like you're closing the hip angle down too much? Yeah. Gotcha. Do you feel that more across the front side of your hip or more across yeah. the front? Okay. What cranks do you own right now, size cranks? Are those ones 72? That's it. Shoulder cranks? Yes. Are you at 160?
does it look okay or not? I think it looks pretty good. Yeah, it's way more stable than what I had yesterday. Yeah. I saw you turn in the bars up there on the first pass. Oh, your hips. Yeah, that's very, very good. It's hard to tell with like the seat and stuff unless I like truly go hard. Yeah. Which I could do. The only thing it looks like to me, it's like your shoulders look pretty tense. Keep it close to your shoulders, like, ah. Yeah. So I want to try and get you to relax your shoulders and drop okay. the head more than the time. Yeah. How would you do that? Just by telling me to? Yeah. Just by thinking oh, okay. about it. <laughs> yeah. So from that test, there wasn't a huge difference across the three positions we tested. They all are about the same mechanical meta metabolic output for you. Okay. And so like I said, we translated this into mechanical power, like you would see on your Wahoo. Mm -hmm. Base bars were slightly less power, so at 250 watts, you'd be maybe three watts faster than compared to the aero bars. Mm -hmm. oh. Just internally, just oh. your engine okay. is going to be putting out about three watts less. Mm -hmm. If you look at coming up two centimeters, it's two watts slower, which is within the era of our system. So really no difference. Um, this is all compared to your baseline, Aero Zero, what the bike is right now. Oh, okay. And then coming down <coughs> one centimeter, it was about four watts worse mm. okay. compared to what your current position is. I've seen people at their race effort, a position cost them 10, 15 mechanical watts. Okay. So we're not seeing huge differences here, which again means go based off of aerodynamics and also how you feel. Mm -hmm. And that's also something you can play around with too <coughs> in training. Where you're at right now is probably the best based off this, mm -hmm. but it's not going to be drastic for your engine mm -hmm. if you decide to go lower or higher. Okay. Sweet. So many options. So many options. Exactly. Uh, 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 come on. I'm sorry, baby, I don't mean to be rude yeah, yeah. I'm just a little different from all these dudes Okay, 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 they riding waves, me, I'm up on the cruise yeah, yeah. You feel like me, then you got nothing to prove uh, uh. I see him trying, trying to do what I do Yeah, yeah. Even my dagger couldn't move like a moon Yeah, yeah, you think you're how it look, I'm up on the moon Yeah, got fresh to death and it came out of the tomb That's cause I, I, I got a different type of gratitude So what did we change this time? This time we raised her arm pad stack height up one and a half centimeters. Wow. Now we'll see if it's faster or slower.
Uh, so this is what we rolled in today before anything. Oh really? Yeah. So this is faster than the lower this and higher. This is faster than both the higher positions. This is the lowest position we've tested. Oh, okay. What she walked into the office with today. Her baseline is about five watts lower than this. Uh, I think we should work on head position next. Yeah. Dial that in, and then we can move on to helmet. I got a different type of swag do. You ain't gonna find nobody like me on your avenues. Better come get me while you can. I'm just passing through. Ask me how I get this good. Oh, you can blame it on my attitude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, baby, that's just my attitude. Yeah, I don't blame you. If I was you, I'd probably be getting mad at too. Oh, oh, I know now, baby, that ain't no bad thing. That's just my attitude. Yeah, yeah, okay, hey, that's just my. Cool. Summarize everything today. Yeah. Uh, going down one centimeter from your baseline mm -hmm. was pretty much a washout when you combined metal box and aerodynamics. It was a little bit faster aerodynamically, so if, as you check training one TT position and you find maybe the lower position feels comfortable, you can try it. Yeah. And you don't have hamstring problems, you can, you can work into it. For now, we've got the two centimeter spacer in there. It's fast. Metabolically, it's fast aerodynamically, so that's good. Yeah. Uh, as far as helmets go, Giro Arrowhead or S Works TT helmet, gonna pretty much do the same. Mm -hmm. uh, keep your head down, because if you don't, it's like at least eight watts. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that was the biggest takeaway. Is yeah. Head low is good, and uh, your zoom suit is fast. Yeah. So then I think we're back at the same place height-wise that we were in Miami. Yeah. Right, but we've changed the front end enough that it's actually comfortable. In theory, you can keep your head down. Yeah. But you also now have the knowledge that if you want to go lower, yeah. you can train into it and know it's going to be. That'll be the fastest purely aerodynamic position, but I don't think that's a good decision right now with what the metabolics look like. Thanks, you guys. Of course. Yeah, you do it. Thank you. You're very welcome. My pleasure. A little more involved than I've ever Where's my name from 2014? When I was on this trip, Mark Cavendish was here too. Oh yeah? I met him. Is he nice? Yeah. Yeah, I was like, I'm taking the front and the center. Yeah. Right below Gomez. Clearly. Yeah. <laughs>